The world is in a massive transition. Are you prepared? Hi, I'm Reverend Tracy L. And I am here to help you navigate through these uncharted waters. Many experts told me it was not possible to repair, regenerate, and restore my body. I proved them all wrong. Isn't it time for you to reclaim what is rightfully yours? If your answer is yes, then I invite you to join me while I will help you embrace the new earth and unlock your unlimited potential. Let's connect every Tuesday, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, right here on The Tracy L. Clark Show, as featured on Transformation Talk Radio. The old ways of connecting are done, so let's embrace together the new and unleash the superhuman within. Good morning and welcome back, everybody. So excited. We have an incredible hour. As as you all know, you were waiting patiently. Peter is back with us. We're going to shift and have some fun. I want to say thank you, though, to everybody who all your birthday wishes and it just keeps going. My house looks like a garden store, flower store. (laughs) So thank you. And it's so beautiful. And remember, on your special day, you can make it go all year round. I was just saying to Peter, I'm making my day go all year round because there was things I wanted to do. So never, ever worry. You can still keep doing them and taking that energy. So thank you. I love you all. It means so much to me and all your notes. And it was just so beautiful. So thank you. Okay, we are today. Make sure. Is there anything else I had to tell you about? Nope, that's it. (laughs) We are getting right into it today. Things I wanted to share. So, Peter, I'm so happy you're back. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having me again. And uh, you shining like always. And I can tell the birthday has just been a great experience as well. And through these times right now, and it's a a good example of, you know, getting right back up and, you know, just keep going, like riding the highest waves of energy at all the times, you know, like looking for the blessings in our lives and the small things, you know, the human interactions, the people really caring and really loving and really seeing you, you know? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's so beautiful. I have to really, you know, take that to another level because in this time when we're seeing truths and things are coming out now and where people are looking at, Oh, that wasn't true. And okay, what's true for me and moving up. And like you said, I think the blessing in this last year has been definitely those small, hello, how are you interactions? You know, you and I, even over the last year, have gotten to know each other more and we've been so blessed to be able to do shows like this together. And these are really positive things. And I'd like to know what, what's one of the biggest blessings you've noticed in the last little bit could be yourself or clients. Let's share some love because we've got a lot of people coming on the line before we go over there. (laughs) Well, one thing I noticed is the soul family coming online, getting closer, getting connected and being there, you know, in in new ways, showing up unexpected ways, uh, networking, uh, expecting the unexpected, like, you know, out of nowhere, people contacting you and, and I like our connection, you know, like, you know, we continuously, we, we feel this is something that's going to, you know, go somewhere. It's, it's helping people, you know, and we're doing it because we love doing it. So when people come from that energy, you know, we're being supported by the universe and I, I abundance flow, everything, you know, just always moving. I noticed that really, really just put you in a, in a accelerated pace and then, and, and, you know, anything is possible. Like it's really amazing. Yeah, this this year I've noticed has a lot of creation energy. And I just, I want to remind everybody how creative it is and how much you can be doing and connecting like you and I have connected. And it's just been beautiful seeing this with so many people. And so when you stay in that energy and that flow, this is a real manifesting year. I've I've noticed that. And you notice it's, it's pretty off the charts. Like I don't remember a year that's been this strong. When you're really in tune, like some days I like, you know, us doing what we're doing, we have ups and downs too, maybe not as big as other people, but I notice the days I'm really, really, really spot on, yeah. uh, you know, the instant manifestation is just like, you can be playing Yahtzee or something. It's like, you know, like <laughs> whatever it is, you know, like, yeah. it's like, it's just instant. It's like, it's or abundance or whatever I notice. Like, it's just, you just uh, have a clear you know, flow of thoughts and, you know, just in one direction. And it's just like it manifests instantly because you're not being pulled into any old timelines or any old doubt or any fear or anything like that. And it's, it's really, I can tell too, you know, it's really been magnified and uh, growing, you know, the powers within that. 
Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. And I do like to remind people, sometimes people will look at you and I and guys, you actually be grateful that you didn't go through it, you know, these 20 years ago, like Peter and I did, because it was a lot more isolating, but we're all here to help you. And so we do just remind you, we're human, we do have our ups and downs, we just get out of them way quicker. Because we've been, you know, we use our tools, we know what to do, we can reach out, we can have those moments, right? So we are human beings that will have them. And so don't be hard on yourself, because I know right now with the energy going up and down so much, your people are being too hard on yourselves going, why do I feel like I'm crying today? Or I'm having a high day. Now I'm a low day. It's just the energy shifting. Like Peter said, releasing out of your body timelines. You don't need anymore as we're going into these higher, higher, higher elevations and spaces in the energy. But I always like to say that because a lot of times people will look at people like you and I, because we are happy. We do love what we do. We're in the flow, but yeah, you know what? We do have our days as well. We do have a frustration. We just pull it out quicker. So it's, it's important. We are, Peter and I are human. We do have those moments as well. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And like you said, you know, about the energy stuff, you know, you have a day you want to cry or, you know, when you have an open heart, you know, that means that you, you're opening up a portal, you know, so like the, you, you chat, uh, all protection layers off and blockages off, you know, so you're, you're open, you know, like, so that's something to be proud of too, you know, and, and empowering that yeah. you actually, you have access to that unconditional love, that divine feminine and divine masculine within you mm-hmm. um, and not, you know, looking into old patterns and old programming and belief systems that that's weak or that's bad or no, actually it's a superpower, you know, it's like learning to, you know, tap into that. That's the key, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, I always say you're given, I get Charlie chewing away here. You're given your emotions for a reason, right? You're given them for a reason. So it's really, really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to move him a little bit. He's a little bit too close. So we'll go. There we go. <laughs> I have my dog with me today. I have my cat with me today. I have all the animals all, all around. So we're just making sure hopefully he can hear me. Okay. Not chewing on a cord, just being a little noisy there. So hopefully that'll clean up the sound. All right. Well, I know we have people on the line here, so let's get to some fun. Let's get some, uh, clearing and, Our producer let me know if my animals in the, it's like a zoo in my house. I got three animals, so I'm sure they're going to chase each other around. So, but we just follow it. It's live. Here we are. (laughs) We have fun. (laughs) Take the animal energy. All right. So you ready to take some callers, Peter? Have some fun? Yes. Bring it on. We always do. So we're going to go to Jennifer from Toronto first off here. Yeah. Awesome. Jennifer from Toronto. Let's see. Jennifer, you're on with Tracy L. Clark and Peter Hansen. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Tracy. Happy Hi, Tuesday. Jennifer. Hi. Hi, Peter. Yep. Um, my <laughs> question, thank you for selecting me today. I've been trying for a long time, and I finally got through today, so thank you for choosing me. It's your time. My question for you today, Peter, is um, in the last year, I've been through um, a very significant traumatic experience and um, I've been working to um, working on the trauma. It gets better sometimes and then I fall back. So I'm asking you what are my guides saying to me today regarding this please? Okay. Do you have your permission to energy melt and connect with your higher self? Yes, you do. Thank you. Let me just uh, tune in here. I'm not going to bring in the Legion of Angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not a delight from your energy field and from uh, this question and this session here. So I'm just uh, slowly energy, energy melting with you and asking what uh, they're coming up here. Well, <laughs> the first thing they're saying, they say, relax. This is not a race. Um, there's a part of the old consciousness, the old human belief system, you are going through a clearing, you know, you're shifting from the old to the new, like everybody is doing right now as these big transitions and downloads are happening and, and the DNA is upgrading and you're shifting from a lower consciousness to a higher consciousness. Uh, but there's still a part of that old uh, belief, like the logical, the linear that kind of keeps you on, I guess, timeline where it's, it's like it checks in, like, you know, step, 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 step kind of thing. Uh, so it feels like it's behind. It always want to get there or there or there. Uh, it's really about relaxing and, and you know, allowing the, like, 
what what uh, um, Tracy was mentioning earlier, allow yourself to feel the emotions too. Allow yourself to you know feel the fear, feel everything, and feel the programming behind it. Because there's so much knowledge, there's so much uh, <clears throat> hidden messages and and growth within that. That specifically for you, uh, is is it's orchestrated in a way that you will uh, grow uh, from that and and exponentially expand so it's important that you look at it this is my journey it's not somebody else's journey you have to like look in your you know surroundings look within uh don't look at the answer or look for the answer on the outside you know don't try to get to somewhere because the the um, the answer is within you in a sense because it's it's not just that you get the answer it's like you learn why that's the answer it's like you have to see it you have to go through it and then you grow from that if that makes sense how does that feel? It feels, um, it's kind of confirming what I've been going through, to be honest. And sometimes it was 11 11 when he was just finishing, FYI. I looked up, so there's some good angel time, right? Uh, thank you, God. And I, I love it because it looks like the, all that integration. And as soon as you got the confirmation of all the things you already knew happening, your whole system just seemed to settle right down. I love that. Does that feel better, Jen? Yes, it does feel better. But I, it's not being um, negative, but I'm just trying to to um, program myself to know, as you said, it's a work in progress. Yeah. You know, it's work in progress. I think that's some things that we forget on our journeys, that some things do go like right away, but other lessons or things that are bigger traumas take a little bit longer. And it is, it's every day when you start to see so if you go back a year and you start to see where you are now, then you can see all the changes, all the difference. And we will forget that sometimes because we're looking for a different outcome immediately, maybe in front of us. But when we look at all the changes in the, in the last, even, you know, go back three months and, and things and see those blessings, that energy, and Peter, I'd love your thoughts on this. I always see that energy pushes into more of the creation of the dreams and the, I uh, can't talk, dreams and desires <laughs> that we have when we're pulling that, that beautiful energy of seeing what did change, what has shifted. What's your thought on that, Peter? I like the way you put that because really that comes down to that, you know, yes, we went through some hot time. You had a hot time this last year, you know, but you don't want to keep that alive. You want to let go of it. You don't want to keep telling that story and keep manifesting it. Mm-hmm. You want yeah. to be able to, that's why facing that fear, go through it, you know, like, why am I holding on to it? This yeah. is becoming my story, you know, like, no, we, it doesn't have to, you know? And that's the challenge is that that's that inner breakthrough, you know, where you don't like, you know, I don't need to do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it looks like too, Jen, I'll just, um, just to move some outside chatter. So quite often we can get that outside chatter right from other, how do I say it politically correct? Other experts on the things you're going through. <laughs> so if they're, if they're in a, a narrative, like met, a lot of outside chatter we're seeing right now come into the systems um, we know isn't resonating with us, right? We might hear it. You might turn on a TV or something. It's not resonating with us. So even if we go to appointments, we want to make sure we keep whatever that outside chatter is if we know it's not resonating. So if it's perpetuating the fear, like what Peter was saying, you might go to the appointment, get the test, do whatever, and then say, okay, thank you for the information, and then just digest it, release it, and let it, let it go. We can go on and on with this, but really it comes down to manifesting too. Like you just said, you know, you go to the doctor. If you expect the worst, you're going to hear the worst, and you're going to manifest that. So you've got to shift that. You have that power. You choose. What do you want to experience? Do you want to go give your power away or do you want to take it back and like align with the reality of your dreams and your desires? Yeah. And I know that's something the logical mind can't comprehend. So you got to give yourself that boost of faith and then just continue to power on, you know, and like, what would that look like? What would that feel like? Yeah. Don't just give your powers away because that whole old system, that's what it did. And that it creates separation. It kind of harvest off that, you know, the fear. Does that feel better? That feels a lot better. Feels a lot better. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank awesome. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a great day, guys. You too. Thank Have an incredible you. day. Thank you, Jennifer. Lots of love. All right, we're going to head over. We're, we're not going to take a break today, guys. We're going to try to see how many. We got so many names here. We're going to we're just gonna go down the list. So call in early. Here we go. <laughs> so we're going to go to Sharon from California. Yeah. Let's see. Sharon from California. Sharon, you are on with Tracy L. and Peter Hansen. Hi, Sharon. Hello. Hi. Hi, Sharon. Welcome. Thank you. I'm not sure really why I'm calling. Okay, that's all right. (laughs) Um, But here I am. Here you are. So what was on top of your brain? Um, Let's go there. My future, I guess. I really... um, I'm 72 years young, Mm -hmm. and um, I want to know what I should focus on. Yeah. There's an also an uncertainty in the field with all the changes that are just going on in the world, given your um, timeline that we need to adjust. So that's okay. That's normal. That is, we can do that as well. Um, It looks like you're looking at all the time you have here saying, what do I want that to look like? Does that be correct? (laughs) Yes. Yeah, yeah, because yes, definitely. You, yeah, what is he with the joy, the fun, the play? All right, um, let's start to align that. Peter, do you want to tune in there with her and see yeah. what her angels and guides have? Because it looks absolutely. like we're setting that up quite nicely. I, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Sharon, do you have your uh, permission to energy melt and connect with your higher self? Yes. Thank you. I'm just going to bring in the Legion of Angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, and I think that's not a delight. From your energy field, I'm just clearing the space, slowly energy melding with you and feel what's going on in your body. Um, what I'm feeling, so it's really like you, uh, in a sense, you have to step out because I feel when I'm in your body, you're very centered. There's a lot of energy going on and in, in pretty much your whole light body is, is but it's within. So it's like one thing is that you, you know, that's an important part of, of uh, fully embodying your higher self, but you don't want to separate you from the world. Like when you start to master yourself, you have to start mastering the outside too. So bring all of you with into the new world. It's not like you waiting for the world to shift to you can now enter it. It's like you are, you know, creating that reflection on the outside. So by you shining your light, you're allowing yourself to be seen, you will start to, people you know, or the outside will start to see you that way. And then the vibration you're holding will be reflected back at you. And all the interactions, all the uh, communication on the outside will be in alignment with that. So it's, it's, it's a common wound that, you know, we're waiting for something to be a certain way or we almost need permission. Uh, and that's the old consciousness. So, allowing yourself to have fun, allowing yourself to shine, allowing yourself to let that inner child to come out, allow you not holding back because that's, that's, uh, that's what I feel is that you just focus on the inside. So you're allowing yourself to bring that out, allowing you to step out of the bubble in a sense, you know, uh, giving yourself permission is, is the biggest one. Uh, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it does. And I felt this, um, wave of joy (laughs) yeah that kept coming up when i was listening to peter joy like go into more when you're out just expand that joy you have within you because you seem to be able to light up a room pretty good (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah. that's true (laughs) yeah that's one of your that's one of the spaces that i have to say it looks in your field if you start activating that more even because you have a and peter you probably saw this really cool energy in you that even if you're like and chills going to like the bank you can make those uh, joyous for those people in the bank like even if you're going to do a, a activity like that or groceries or whatever you have this beautiful energy that seems to drop like just a what I see is like people walk by you and you don't even have to say anything and they're kind of like oh like I you know that little pick me up like oh I feel better which is it's a, that's a huge gift that people might look at and say, well, how does that contribute? It contributes huge. 
Like it's huge. It really changes somebody's day. It changes somebody's perspective. Like it's, it's, and you don't have to say anything. How does that feel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. 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 That you needed a boost today to know that it was okay to just go out and spread that. That's, that's what it looks like. Yeah. I kind of want to win again a little bit here. Um, you know, you are a light worker as well, just like Tracy was mentioning, you know, so it's important you look at yourself that way. So wherever you go, like Tracy was saying, it's so beautifully that, you know, you radiated, you are do, you're actually doing what you came here to do. That was your mission. And mm-hmm. that gives it a very, very different perspective. Then it's not individual. It's like, it's a huge, it's, it's like oneness. It's, you are being part of the change. You are creating the, the new world by being it, by showing it, by radiating it, by vibrating it. Uh, see? Yeah. Yes. Yes, definitely. Thank and you that's so gonna, much. That's going to take you for a lot of good, fun places for a long time. So enjoy it all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, enjoy it. I will. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so Sharon. Have an incredible day. All right. We're going to head over to Paula from Toronto. Yeah. Let's see. Paula from Toronto. Paula, you are on with Tracy Allen, Peter Hansen. Hi, Hi, Paula. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Peter. It's a pleasure Hi, to Paula. see you guys today. You as well. Hi. Uh, I have a question. Um, so I'm living in a house. I've been here for over 20 years, and I'm thinking that I should maybe move. Um, and so I wanted to know if you can see anything about move, you know, me moving anytime soon. And um, also I was interested in, in knowing about if there's anybody who's going to be romantically in my life. Nice. All right. Do you want me to tune in first? Absolutely. Okay. Do I have your permission to energy milk, Paula, and connect with your higher self? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> I'm just going to bring in the legion of angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not of the light from your energy field as I'm slowly bringing in Archangel Gabriel and uh, energy melting with you. Uh, feeling what's going on in your body and asking the questions about the move. Let's see what's going on here. Um, time-wise, they're not really giving me a clear, uh, but it's really, that's not the important part. The important part is that there's clearing going on. It's like almost the trash is being taken out. If that makes sense. And, uh, um, and this is on a, a you know, a collective level is, is materialistic as well. It's like the, the old constructs are being cleared. Uh, and it affects you in, in all ways, you know, it fe- affects your romance life, it, re- it reflects you moving you, your physical location as well. So what I'm feeling is and hearing is that there's going to be some more clearing going on first. Uh, there'll be some uh, taking out like shifting old energies, uh, um, discontinuing old uh, obsolete dysfunctional relationships. And it's not in the old ways of like, you know, meeting it in that energy it's much more of like you know you just vibrating differently and being okay with it no judging no hanging on um and and that's the internal shift within you that's happening and that's as soon as that's as that's happening you will see the shift on the outside uh, starting to take place um let me just see if i can give you by july and they're showing me there's going to be a big shift uh in direction so you by july you will know where you're going to go and then you're going to start moving the puzzle pieces in a sense, you know, um, and opportunities or clarity will be brought to you, like a buyer will pop up or, you know, it's going to come in in a very unexpected way. You, you putting out, uh, which is really good, you're putting out a desire, a rocket of desire, so to speak, you know, where you, you feel deep down in your, in your uh, higher self and, and your consciousness that a move is, is, on the horizons, you're feeling that. And that's why you're a little confused. It's like, you can't fully see the whole picture yet. And that's a part, a part of that is that you have to trust and have faith and expect all things to work out for you. So having, you know, a clear vision, like you not necessarily know the location, but like the ingredients, how would that look? 
how big is this house where you're going to move to or you know nature or is it in nature is it like think like that and start to visualize that because the more you can vibrate in that frequency the more you're telling the universe this is like this is what i would like um, and i feel with romance too that's going to happen after that move because you're gonna it's not just you physically shifting it's your vibration that's gonna go with it you know so you're coming into a different uh, vibration a different dimension so to speak where somebody's going to meet you at that level somebody who is uh, matching that and somebody who's gonna you know in a kind of like a sacred union where you're holding space for each other uh, and you're reflecting that back to each other so it's not waiting for anyone to complete you it's a very different kind of uh, relationship um, so there's a lot of stuff happening this year it's going to be the next couple of months it's going to be part of that clearing so you can look at it like that but hold the vision of of what you want at the end in a sense but not out there like right now feel how would that feel does that make sense Yes, makes much sense to me. Um, thank you kindly. Um, it sounds positive and it sounds like uh, I've got some work to do. You do, but don't take it that like personal, like you hold yourself accountable. No, I've been because... growing for years. So Good. Yeah, uh, it actually, uh, yeah, I have to say, when Peter, you, yeah, when you were talking about warm, like I got really warm when you were talking about July and, and uh, it's very common Paula for empaths you'll start to feel that move and that shift long before it's going to happen and it looks like it just sort of comes out of the blue and you just know you're like you're done like you probably end up purging a lot but I don't just mentally but also physically like Peter was saying because you can see that as that that energy is just it's literally like um you know if you're taking a shower and it's just falling off the water's just coming off you can see it's just releasing it's letting go so you've definitely picked up, you got to move. That's probably one of the most frustrating parts though at some times, right? Like if you haven't gone through it too many times, I go through it a lot. I know I'm moving again. I've known I'm moving for a long time. And I just, I know, I'm just like, okay, when it's time, it's time and off we go. And if you can get into that space, because it does look very quick. Like I have to say, Peter's saying, it looks like all of a sudden you're like, okay, I'm moving, I'm shifting, I'm out of here. And then, and I love that you said this, Peter, because nobody completes you. They just, you know, they enjoy with you. <laughs> you know, no one completes you. That was like old sayings. But um, that I have to agree with you, Peter. That energy came in really quickly where you're like, wow, here he is. You know, like, whoa, here's our romance and here's our house. And it's it's going to happen fast. Moving really. into new reality. You yeah. Know, really. Yeah. Yeah. How does that feel, Paula? Wonderful. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. I feel optimistic about it, so I'm feeling positive. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're ready. It's God it's going to come. Both. Take care. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. That's Thank what we you. want, Thank right? You. <laughs> it's I, you know, it's really I've noticed a lot of a lot of very aware people. So all of us that have um, you know woke up a long time ago, we've been awake for a long, long, long time. Um, and even new people that they just sort of are like, oh, here I am. I'm, I'm coming on my journey. Like I'm, I'm awakening to this new way. They're feeling that desire to move. And I, I love it when I hear people say that because you just know that you're ready for, you know, a new surrounding, a new vibrational shift. And I always encourage people, don't be afraid of moving. Like I think moving is fabulous in so many ways. You know, we like our roots and our places, but your body is it it loves moving. It loves new locations. It loves all that new energy that comes in. Kind of like how you and I, Peter, were talking about traveling. How I miss my travel and I miss my ocean because it's so clean. Moving does that too to the body. Did you notice that? I love the way about yes. When you move, you know, to you allow another version of yourself to show up. You know, because you're starting you're kind of a clean slate. You know, like you you allow yourself to upshift. You know, and you don't second guess yourself and compare yourself to whatever the yeah it was dictating you know and I always say get in the joy like when I moved across the country I didn't know anybody where I was moving to I knew nobody like nobody <laughs> and I was like but I got into the play of it like well I wonder who I'm going to meet I wonder who my new friends will be I wonder where I'm going to go get groceries I went I started to just create like that long before I moved right so when I moved everything became not a oh a stress there were those odd days sure because moved so far but it became play. It was like, oh, who am I going to see today? And oh, I don't like that grocery store. I'll go to this grocery store. So, you know, you get to play in that energy, which so I hope uh, I hope she takes that in because it's if you can take the play energy in it, of it, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's you know what it is. But the whole journey is like, you know, have fun with it because yeah. you know, 
just yeah. you know one life is like a video game you know you oh it really is part. Yeah, I keep saying we're in the matrix, guys. It's the matrix. We always say the matrix was real. I'm like, watch the matrix again. You know, you get to create, you get to move, you get to shift and get that knowing and that power. We have so much energy running today. I have to say today, I was like, whoa, so all the angels. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but I'm going to, I'll say it because I'm sure you have, and we haven't brought it up. We all got like, I've been saying it for book last week, more reinforcements, like more angels have come through to help us more support. And it's just like, I find even when I'm on air and working, I'm like, wow, how many more people can fill the rooms we got going on here? (laughs) (laughs) We'll take it. (laughs) Why not? Right. You probably noticed that you got so many extra people coming in. (laughs) It's a good thing. All right. We're going to go to um, Christy from Burlington. Yeah, Christy from Burlington. Christy, you are on with Tracy L and Peter Hansen. Hi. Hi, Christy. Hi, Christy. Oh my gosh. Hi. I'm so <laughs> excited. I actually have I have I have sweaty palms and I never have sweaty palms. This is crazy. I was just saying to myself, if I didn't get on today, this session has been absolutely incredible. Aww. All three of the last women that have talked have stirred something in me and I've got my hand over my heart saying, let me take it in, let me take it in or yeah, whatever. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm tongue tied. So I'm on and I've been, I just wanted to say, I, I follow both of you regularly now. It's probably been about six months and um, I'm just enamored and just so thrilled to have found you for my, in my life, in my world, because yeah. I think things happen That's for great. reasons. And um, I truly have always believed that. And, I've had a very, very tough year in a couple of months and um, very spiritual person, always have been, but just really sort of been struggling. I almost lost my life last December. Uh, I got a bacterial infection by the ocean in Cuba, believe it or not. Now I'll still go in the water because it's just the way the world works, but I think the universe is trying to tell me to slow down. Um, living mm-hmm. in my house, this is why I'm interested in the last three people, because all three of them part are, sort of have a, a piece that's part of my story, and always been a very joyful person, been feeling very non-joyful, um, lost my, you know, was sick for a year, lost my job during COVID, but still smile, and everybody thinks that I'm the happiest, go lucky person in the world, but not feeling it inside, and just really trying to figure out my next steps. In terms of moving, I've been in my house for 19 years. My kids are grown. And uh, to try to figure out what's next for me. And uh, it's it's a little daunting. Yeah. Your your body definitely. I, I even wrote, I write when I channel and see, and I wrote slow down before you even said it. I'm like, see, it says on my notes, slow down up there in the corner. Um, definitely there's... Uh, I want to, I'm going to use Peter's word and then we'll let him to tune in what he said earlier. It looks like you are exactly in that same mode of dumping the trash. So we get, um, we, we collect energy sometimes within our bodies, even when we're happy and everything's fine that may sit in that subconscious space that we're not aware of. And then sometimes it's sort of, it's like a, a toilet that backs up and then it's just got to come out. And so it's um that's why you had that slowdown it's like things that seem like they gathered over here and then we'll get peter to tune in there that you've been gathering throughout your life over these last you know 19 20 years you're very awake you're very aware you you know what's happening but things can come in so sometimes we don't notice them it's like you move a piece of furniture and they're like oh there's some dust bunnies there and it looks like that's just being cleaned out of the field but i you're getting a lot of different opportunities it just looks like your system Thank you, God. I'm actually going to, if you're okay, I'm just going to pull some energy out behind the back of your heart and on the root, because that's where it looks like it got plugged of like, where am I going next? What am I doing? And you're trusting and you're taking in the energy and you're shifting and you're moving. But this is like, um, I say some people do it in increments. You're doing it all at once. You know, some people dump energy or they move here. They'll, they'll move. Story of, or, story of my life. <laughs> Yeah, you you just are like, I'm I'll just do it all now. So rather than, you know, you take 19 years and you're having fun, you're moving, you're realizing what you have to move, what shifts. And now you're just like, well, I'll just dump it all at once. So the body went, Oh, wait a minute, we gotta slow down. It's moving too quickly. 
And that looks like where that infection, there's a little bit left of actually sitting in your central nervous system from that too, that I can move out. And I'm going to let Peter tune in and pull, I'll move that out while he tunes in and, and pulls up for you as well. Peter? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Do I have your uh, permission to energy melt to connect with your higher self? You sure do. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to bring in the legion of angels and asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not of the light. Clearing the space and slowly energy melting with you. Um, I want to add to this is what I felt here right now. Your heart space too, like you, you've been the light in many people's life for a long time, but now you are ready to shift into another uh, era of yours where you know it's going to become about you. Where in the past you focused all your love, all your energy on giving, but also on on other people. So now it's about it's time. For you, uh, and this is why part of why the human body needs a some kind of I don't want to say shutdown, but get compromised in a way because it's trying to give that energy away. And if we continue to uh, honor those patterns, then your body will give you some kind of wake up call where something dramatic, like uh, life changing, uh, either disease or something happening. You know. So what I'm seeing is that you shifting and you owning and you holding that energy and, and kind of reinvent yourself in, a man, in many ways because your focus is now shifting from, it's not meaning that you're not being a, a beacon of, of, of light for the world, but it's important that you tell yourself that first, that you fully connect within and you maintain that fire because otherwise you continue to run out of gas in a sense because you, you're giving it away and then your physical body will react to that. So it's really what I'm feeling here is that come within, you know, and then everything like because of, of like you had so many irons in the fire in a sense before that your whole old identity was kind of revolving around that. It's like, oh, I need to do this, 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 and this, this. But no, really, you know, you, now you need to symbol that down. Just reconnect with you uh, and allow that, that a new version of you to come forward, you know, because now it's your time to shine something we actually saw earlier as well and with a different client. Um, allow yourself to, to go within. Stop looking on the outside for validation or, you know, because that's a part of that old belief system that or value system that am I good enough? Am I, you know, no, you're the one who need to accept yourself. That's what I'm feeling. You need to go into your heart fully. Uh, and I, I, it's just about redirecting and shifting your focus, it's not rocket science. It's really about like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I don't want to give my energy away any longer. I, I'm ready to fully embody that and do that inner work because this is what prepared me for everything to the way I'm at right now. Uh, does that make sense? It does make sense. And um, like I said, when I got sick last December, I, what I didn't tell you is that I, I could have lost my job, which was, I think, a gift actually. Um, it's still a little scary knowing how you're going to put food on the table and what your next thing is, but I truly do believe that there's my, I have a higher purpose. I'm just trying to figure it out. And um, then in, this October, I broke my wrist. So I said, okay, I really am being told to slow down. So when Tracy said that, it immediately was the slow down part. Is I think that is definitely what the world and God and angels and everybody has been trying to tell me. So I'm, I'm listening. It's just, it's hard to figure out how, like to to pull so much out to, when you've always been a pleaser and doing so much energy for other people. How do you start to focus inward? How do you start to make prioritize yourself a priority? You, you have to prioritize you, and that's the shift where before you didn't. You kind of like sacrificed yourself in a sense, you know, if you look at it that way. So shift that. What would that look like? What would that, like every action, everything you do on a daily basis, you know, you know, if, if you can feel like you are repeating old program, then stop it right there and shift that perspective right there. And that's how it becomes easy and easy. And okay. that becomes the new. And one you of know? the things I always like to remind people, a little tool that I like to teach that, that works quite well is quite often. And you were here all in like going to the heart, but like Peter said, coming more within you. So we get, we end up being programmed more in our brain, right. In our mind rather than our feelings. So I always say to people, you can tap your heart, you can do the reset tool, but I say, go in and just, what you're doing in your day to refocus for you is I, I would say you can use God, universe, divine, whatever you want, but I go like, thank you, God body. Truthfully, what do I want to do today? Body, truthfully, what do I feel like doing today? 
And it's interesting because it takes you out of the head versus, okay, what are we going to do? You're now connecting back to your body, your soul, your spirit. That's why I say connecting to tap to the heart. And then your soul, your spirit, and your body will give you the indication of, oh, maybe I feel like going for this walk. It's nurturing. So rather than, oh, I'll watch this show, your body's saying, I feel like a walk, get out and do the walk. And because it's a simple thing. But the more you do it, and I find the more people use this little tool, they then are like, oh, I feel like nurturing myself with that warm cup of tea right now. And that becomes nurturing within and it it makes it less complicated. Does that make sense? That makes total sense. That makes total sense. I'm I'm, the the energy that's rushing through my body right now is intense. It's so amazing. And um, I want to thank you both very much. Patrice, I want to tell you that I'm almost done your book, and it is so beautiful. Oh, thank And it has you. been such a gift. I'm so glad yeah, you and No, it really, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get weepy. The emotions are flowing, but uh, like I said, I just think that, you know, you you you're, you come across people at certain times in your life for certain reasons, and you got to sort of jump in just like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to honor my inner, taking care of my inner heart and inner Christy. So thank you very much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Well, I told you, I said this right before we got into you. I'm like, here, we got so many new angels. Even my body is feeling it. the energy. And I, I feel energy intense. I've said since my birthday. And today I was like, whoa, we got like, we got so many extra reinforcements. I'm like tongue tied a bit today. I'm like, where did they all come from? Like they just swooped in with all of us. So enjoy it and, and take that energy and Peter and I just send you so much love and Peter will be back in May again with us. So guys, we're, we'll be doing this a lot. So don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. And God bless both of you. Thank you very much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Thank you. So many blessings. Yeah. There's so many reinforcements. I'm, I'm like, Whoa, they're just coming in and then some kind of go and leave depending on who we're all working with. Right. So yeah, it's a great day. Uh, okay. We have a few more minutes here, so I think we can squeeze in a couple more people. So let's go to Doreen from Toronto. If she's still there. Um, we're working down here. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Doreen from Toronto. Doreen, you are on with Tracy Allen and Peter Hansen. Hi, Doreen. Hi, Tracy and Peter. Hi. Hello. So happy to I'm have so excited you. to be on. Thank you so much. Yay! <laughs> so, yes. So, Tracy, as you know, I've just moved, and uh, people were talking about moving earlier, and I've just <laughs> moved, and oh my gosh, <laughs> this is quite the ride. Yeah. I'm having, um, so I moved, I lived in the same place for 16 years, lots of stuff happened during those 16 years, not the greatest stuff. Nonetheless, I'm on the other side, and it's mm-hmm. so interesting, I'm... I'm losing things like crazy, like I misplace things, I can't find them, I don't know where they are. But beyond that, I don't really know where I am. I'm waking up and I'm thinking, where am I? Oh, yes, I have a new apartment. But the other part of that, even further, I would say is I don't even seem to know who I am. Mm -hmm. I think Mm -hmm. it sounds a bit crazy, but that's how it feels. No, it's not crazy. Um, I'll just I'll just sort of put some some perspective in there, and then I'd love Peter to tune in because this is such a new phase of your life. This is like when you move, and this is for everybody listening who wants to move. This is what happens. It's a new direction of your bed. It's that that fork is in a new place, and so all the old is it's dumped. It's like well, wait a minute, that's no longer with me. You were there. You said for sixteen years, like it's it's over, right? So that that's an ending, and now your body's purging and ending and now it's all all new like you said you wake up and you're like well wait a minute what that paint wall is different or you see the chip in the wall it's new because it's recalibrating with you so this is what you're experiencing is exactly what happens when you're an aware soul and you've moved locations and now your body is recalibrating to this higher frequency make sense okay Okay, yeah. I'm going to get yeah. Peter to tune in because I'm really excited for what your whole, when I tune in, everything else coming is, like the old is done, like you are done, girl, like you got so many new things coming in, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Okay, I'm going to let Peter take over. <laughs> I'm excited for you. <laughs> hey, Doreen, do I have your permission to energy melt and connect with your higher self? Yes, definitely. Thank you. I'm just going to bring in the Legion of Angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not a delight. Just clearing the space here and tuning in. 
it's 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 really uh, beautiful because it is a new beginning um and you being in a new vibration just not just physically but energetically as well you letting go and you uh, like tracy was mentioning you know like the fork is in a new place the bed is in a new place it actually allows you to be more in the present moment when you're more in the present moment you allow yourself to be in a higher receptive uh, but also vibrating higher high frequency and consciousness because you now you have life force excitement within you uh, you know being expressed in everything you do at a much higher degree than before because before it was like running on the pumps you know in a sense like just routines and habits and like kind of not being there fully but now you are there much more fully so now you see that and you align with that so that's why that's a part of why you forget the old because uh, uh, there's no need for that any longer it's a different dimension it's a different consciousness so you can't be in both at once so don't feel like you're doing something wrong don't feel that something's wrong you know like there's something wrong with you because it's really about the the new the higher that's that's being activated and honored and then the old is not needed any longer it's that simple it's just it's ceasing to exist less and less you can always go revisit that moment or whatever it is the memories if you need to but you don't need to have that as a part of your consciousness or your identity any longer and that's one of the a lot of, a lot of the you know ascension uh, blocks in a sense is that you think we have to remember everything because that was the old way of doing things but no you know you are in a new place so allow yourself to shine allow yourself to really have fun with it and expand in that new space because the past is past the future is now so you know live be that light um let me just see i feel like there's more here hang on Ooh. there's a deep connection there's a big download coming in as well it's like i'm not sure if you're noticing this but you your your crown and your third eyes being opening up your throat like the way you speak and going into your heart as well you probably notice that there's new words coming up new insights new depth you know like where you speaking it differently than you did before that's because you're now aligning with a higher consciousness a higher vibration a higher version of you um and that's something you want to keep going don't don't create a block to stop that because it's uncertain allow yourself to be that and and expand on it continue to move forward uh, allow yourself to uh, trust that process because that's really that's the freedom you are like in the conscious creation mode then um, yeah, does that resonate. Yes, yes, I love that. Oh, well, thank you. That's exciting. It is. It really, it is. The, the, yeah. The unfamiliar part is a bit like, where am I? I feel like I'm just suspended between two worlds. Because you, you are. Kind of are. You have a foot in both <laughs> worlds. So you want to bring both feet into the new. Be fully present. Don't worry about the old. The old is in the past. You know what I mean. Allow yourself to be fully present yes. and just love yourself in this moment and this moment and this moment and this moment, you know? There's no need to hang on to the old. Yeah, it's leaving. More I trash pigs. <laughs> More trash pigs. It's the garbage man's just going to pick them up. Don't worry about it. You don't need to do anything. The garbage man comes, he picks them up, he does it for you now. Like all those angels and guides you have, that all those big downloads that Peter's getting, and wow, they're huge today. Thank you, God. They just take them away for you. Like, just tell them. Take, they'll just take them away. Just say, take them away. <laughs> they will. Does that feel good? That's wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it does. Thank you. You're welcome, Doreen. Have a great Thank day. Thank you to both of you. You're yes. welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Always so much fun. Okay, we're going to quickly, we only have a couple minutes. Let's see if we can squeeze in uh, Veronique and... Um, we, I know we have to do this one quick, so but let's try yeah. <laughs> before we have to go. Okay. Let's see. Veronique from Toronto. Veronique, you're on with Tracy Allen, Peter Hansen. Hi, Veronique. Hi. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to Hi. be on. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Hi, Peter. Hi. Nice to meet you. We're squeezing you in. We have a couple minutes. So what's, what would you like today? What can Peter and I do for you today to help? It's funny. Um, everybody else uh, had the same question. My question was about moving, about what's next. What should I do next? Because I lost my job at the airline uh, last summer, and I feel like nothing keeps me in Toronto anymore. Mm-hmm. So that's my question. Should I just 
get out of here and start fresh. And apparently, maybe yes. <laughs> uh, I got huge goosebumps. I'm getting a huge yes. It's time for you to fly somewhere new. <laughs> Ironically, right from going from <laughs> being at the airlines, you're ready to fly. It's um, there's a lot of stagnant energy here for you. You can see your. I can see clearly. You're ready to go, I, Peter. Tune in. We got a few minutes. See what okay. your angels and guides have Thank for you. Thank you, Tracy. I love you so much. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> love, love. Hey, Do I have your permissions, energy melt, and connect with your higher self? Yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna bring in the legion of angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not out of the light, and just clearing the space and asking them the question: uh, If you're supposed to move, let's see what's going on here. They're getting a big yes. There's a lot of light coming. I feel like you're gonna be going south. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like you. One thing about the shift is that, you know, some, you're going to continue to support or choose uh, your decision is going to be based on what is supporting your frequency and your energy. And I feel the sun is going to be a big factor because the codes uh, would really benefit you. Like, so following the sun in a sense, because you are the sun as well. So it's going to bring you closer to you. It will allow you to not only feel better for being in the sun, of course, but allowing you to to be in a frequency where you can accept and and receive uh, and integrate these higher uh, DNA codes coming in and activations. Um, And I feel like it's going to, it's going to be represented in your life as well. It's like your journey. I feel like it's almost like a blocker in a sense, or you, you, if that makes sense, like you are reporting, you're telling your story as you're doing it. That's what I'm feeling. Like you, you're making the move and then you start telling your story, which will encourage other people to do the same. So it's not about, uh, oh my God. Yeah. does that make sense? So much. I'm, I'm crying here and I, I feel yeah. this energy in my body. I'm feeling hot right now. It's funny. I'm yeah. sweating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're right yeah, on to... point. You're right yeah. on. Like I didn't tell you about going south and it's been it's been in my mind but i'm 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 in fear and i know tracy's told me many times you have nothing to be afraid of i know i remember that but it's so hard to do it uh with the pandemic and all like to just leave canada because the authorities keep telling us to be afraid (laughs) there's a lot shifting and gonna open in the next little bit and i'll tell you that as soon as peter said south and warren like i got the full chills to head to toe it's um you know i I have to say it's it's where you're going to be. And I agree with Peter a thousand percent. It, it'll open. The door will open. Just see it open and then just be ready to jump. And you're allowed. You're free to move where you need want to move. You really are. Don't let them scare you. Yeah. Funny, I, I want to jump to that. No. <laughs> yeah. People who allow themselves was, to travel uh, and I just was... do it, they actually experience that the borders are actually open if you are in a, in a, in a vibration to... Yeah. to do that it's like if you don't listen to whatever you're being told from the media you know like there is always ways ah. mm-hmm. you know i travel all the time you know so like yes. i never had a problem yeah yeah we're yeah, gonna be able to right to it's, it's gonna open. yeah and move and we'll all be moving with you anyway so it's all good <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes i know you love the sun and the beach and the ocean like you, you're yeah. one of the people that uh, benefits from that as well uh, yeah don't we all <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. That was right on. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Tracy. Love You're you welcome. so much. Both of you. So much love. So much love. Yeah, well, the theme is moving. We were saying that earlier, right? Pick up and move, pick up and leave. I think this is the theme this uh this Absolutely. whole day. Don't be afraid to move. Wouldn't you say? Don't be afraid to just even move if it's not your physical space. Get out and move. Go see other areas of where you live. Right, expand a little bit because that's what the pandemic did, you know, that kept you at home. And now it's time to come out and see the world in a new light because everything is not going to be the same. It's it's going to be different. So because you shifted, you changed, the world changed. So like you need to see what happened, you know, and see it with new eyes, new vibration, new frequencies and yeah. really take that's it all in and be a part of that change, you know? Well, we are at the top of the hour. I'm so grateful you joined us, Peter. Let everyone know where they can find you quickly before we have to say goodbye. You can go to my website, channelingartsangel.com uh, and on Facebook and Instagram as well. Check it out there. Yeah. Um, I am yeah. so blessed that you are joining us. I know we're, you're going to come back in May with us as well. I am just so happy and the light that you share and the energy. 
I hope people really understand that when they've got, I always say the power of three, you know, and then all our angels are guides, a God, universe, divine. So, you know, it always was two or more, but I'm finding now, like when you and I are working with people, it's just so much fun. So from my heart, I'm so grateful that you take this time to be with all of these amazing callers. We have being of service, you know, and, and co-creating, you know, and, and showing up and be seen and help and reach out, you know, like it's, it's, that's why we're here, you know? Yeah. Well, there's a lot more to come. I know it. So everybody, thank you, Peter. Thank you for the callers. You know what? If you weren't able to get through, there's always going to be another time. Don't worry. Just watch and join us and have an incredible week. Know how much you are loved. And we send all of you so many love and blessings. So have an incredible day. And we'll see you next week. Same time, same place right here on Transformation Talk Radio. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for listening to the Tracy L. Clark Show with me, Tracy L., where I teach you how to connect to the God consciousness so you can unlock your superpowers and connect at light speed and live your extraordinary life. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where together we will unlock the secrets of your body and your life. As the founder of the Body Regeneration Academy, I, Tracy L., will provide you with the insight and simple tools you can apply right now in your life to move you forward and leave the past in the dust. To join the Body Regeneration TLC Online Academy, make sure you check me out at tracylclark.com. Views expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its management, or advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio.